Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 619 News. Here are tonight's top stories. First of all, an interesting story out of Kentucky today. A man who went to the doctor for a routine vasectomy was castrated instead. When questioned, the doctor said, well, it all started out as a joke. We were pretending like we were going to castrate him, and he got real snotty, so we offed his balls. The man was philosophical about it. He said, well, it's just that much less to wash. Marijuana has just been legalized. In a related story, the sale of snack foods has gone through the roof. In a surprising decision, Congress passed a bill outlawing bad films. As a result, the romantic comedy section of Stores Everywhere is now extinct. George Lucas has just announced his plans to continue the Star Wars saga. I would like to add that I am now announcing my plans to kill George Lucas. A man who supported and performed late-term abortions was shot to death yesterday by an anti-abortion supporter. In a weird twist of irony, the man who performed late-term abortions has just become the world's latest term abortion. A man who was digging for coal has filed charges against another man who he claims tried to sodomize him with a pickaxe. The man has been brought up on charges for inappropriate relations with a minor. A lady in Kansas has claimed to have found a rare space rock on her property. She said she was tending to her garden one morning when a flaming object came plummeting out of the sky, landing in her backyard. She immediately contacted NASA, who ran some tests only to conclude that the rock was in fact a lump of human waste. Apparently, an astronaut on the space station thought it would be funny to be the first person ever to defecate in space. The space turd found its way to Earth's gravitational pull and ended up in this lady's backyard. Take that, Neil Armstrong. In Alabama, a man by the name of Bill Travers is in the hospital for a very unusual problem. Apparently, Bill, who was unemployed, told his wife he was going out to look for a job, when in fact he was going fishing with his friends. On the way home, Bill had been drinking heavily and, due to a bumpy road, had gotten beer all over his trousers. Not realizing this, he went to light his cigarette and dropped the match. Bill's trousers then caught on fire and sent him careening off the road into a tree. A passerby called 911 and Bill was rushed to the ER. When his wife arrived, she was furious that Bill had lied to her. He later realized that, had he been truthful with his wife, the whole incident could have been avoided. This is the first ever reported case of an actual liar-liar-pants-on-fire situation. In other news, Katie Holmes and Tom Cruise are getting divorced. Katie cited in the petition for divorce that her reasoning for this was her insane fucknut of a husband. This just in, Anna Nicole Smith still dead. And finally, a tragic story to wind up the news with tonight. There was a shooting at a high school yesterday in Dearborn Heights, Michigan. Oddly enough, it was not a student, but a teacher who committed the grisly act. A disgruntled geography teacher named John Hart lost it and shot every student in his class because they did not know the capital of Maine. He is still on the loose, and the police would like to remind everyone that the capital of Maine is Augusta. Well, that's all for us tonight. Join us next time, and we'll cover the weather. I'm just receiving word, the forecast for tonight, dark, continued dark tonight, changing to widely scattered light in the morning. Thank you very much, good night, and good news.